So now in this phase of the, of the module, we're going to be going through the actual two segmentation. The software has guessed or approximated where the margins of the teeth are, and we're going to go back and refine it and clean it up a little bit. There are two different ways to accomplish this. Each of these individual nodes can be grabbed and dragged along, and we want this line to end up right along the gingival margin and up through the embrasures. You can also hold the shift button and draw a line and it will try to reapproximate along the line that you give it. It still does a little bit of calculation trying to find the deepest point, more sort of a progression or a transition from tooth to gingiva. Um, and it's going to walk, we're going to walk through each tooth like that. I prefer to stick on the buccal side first, get every tooth idealized, and then progress to the lingual. If at any point you accidentally get off track and forget to click on a tooth before you start drawing, you'll see that the line gets a askew. Simply click the back button and it will go right back to where it was. Once in a while, particularly on the molars, it will fall off on the buccal aspect. Not a big deal. We can draw that real quick. Any teeth that you're not planning to uh, optimize the, or not planning to align, you do not have to perfect the margination, but you do want to give it, get it fairly close to where it should be. That will help everything moving forward uh, as the software decides to, tries to calculate the teeth and the various movements. So spend a little bit of time cleaning up the lines. But again, perfection is not necessary for any teeth you do not intend to align. Okay, so now that we are pretty well dialed in with all the margins, one thing I do want to suggest is that you make sure the lines don't disappear in the incisal embrasures. May bring it all the way up, one of the dots on either the buccal or lingual at the very least, up until you can see it. Right here, the lines have disappeared, and that can cause errors with the segmentation. To ensure that you do not run into problems down the road when you're aligning the teeth, take the, a little extra bit of time to ensure that you can see the line crossing the, in the incisal embrasures particularly on any teeth that you plan to segment. But I would encourage you to go ahead and do it on all teeth. Again, um, the software is going to still segment every tooth even when you're not going to be aligning it. So spending the extra little bit of time uh, may save you frustration in the long run. If the lines overlap, doesn't always cause an issue, but I like to keep them separate from each other if at all possible. Okay, we're looking pretty good. All right, and so now we are done with that. So the one other thing that we can do at this point is we can tell the software which teeth we're going to be aligning or not. And in this case, we're going we're gonna to leave everything but the front four teeth straight. To do so, I can click, to tell the software to ignore these teeth, I can just right click the colored surface, right click, right click, right click, right click. Or while in this area, I can do the same thing, right click, right click, right click, right click, however you prefer to do it. So one thing to be very careful of, as I mentioned before, or I believe I mentioned, was they want to get the, the, the margination really defined around the teeth we're going to move, and ideally the one tooth next to it. The rest of the teeth can be just fairly quickly approximated, but try to really dial in your margination lines on teeth to be moved and the ad one adjacent tooth to them. Okay, that ends it for this step of the module. We'll click on the next teeth to move the teeth in the proper position.